Hello, Mike here from Greenway Electric. Today we're going to run a little experiment on this 2016 Nissan LEAF at the 30 kilowatt hour battery. We have the charge level fairly low right now and we're going to plug it into a DC fast charging station, a level 3 Chatamo, and it's a charge point and we're going to see what the charging curve looks like and what, what I mean by that is how many kilowatts of power is it going to draw from the power source at the different states of charge and we're going to see how quickly it can go from a low state up to around 80 percent and i'll be able to graph the information here so uh, let's see what happens okay so this is what we're starting out with we have the car warning us the battery level is low uh, the range remaining gasometer is uh, all dashes it does still show one bar of charge which i'm a bit surprised about and then on the other screen it says very low battery and then if we look at our leaf spy scanner here it gives us a bit more information we're at 11.7 percent state of charge to start with so we'll uh, keep track of our uh, charging speed as we go okay we've got the car started charging here and in the time it took for me to walk from the front of the car to inside the car we've already gone up by three percent so this uh, screen doesn't show your kilowatts, but at the top left-hand corner here, top right-hand corner right up there, shows your amps. So I'll have a graph here that'll convert our amps and voltage to kilowatts. But uh, there we are at already 15%. So just part way through the charge here, we'll just take a quick look and see how we're progressing. Okay, so you can see we're already up to 16, 17%, and we've got a rate of 45 kilowatts for the charging speed for the vehicle. So pretty good speed for a car that has a 30 kilowatt hour battery. So it seems to be going up pretty quick. So here's where we're at at the end of the charging session. So we did charge it to 100% or basically as high as it'll go. You can see on the left side, the battery temperature did go up. And on the right hand side, we've got all 12 of our battery bars and it's estimating uh, 153 on the kilometers. And on Leaf Spy, it says we're at 97.7% state of charge. And the temperature of the battery is 38 Celsius, so that's right around 95 to 98 Fahrenheit. Okay, so here's the data that I got from the charging session just plotted it out here in Excel. And as you can see here, we started with uh, minute zero. Uh, charge percentage, we started with 14%. Our overall battery voltage was 348 amps. Uh, the charging rate when it first was plugged in is 124. And then you just take your volts times your amps, divide by 1,000, it's your kilowatts. So we're at 43 kilowatts. So at the very beginning, you can see that as the battery was getting charged up, you can see the amperage was quite consistent at 124, 125. And though the voltage was going up as the battery was being charged. So for the first 11 minutes, uh, we have, uh, you know, the, the, the kilowatts actually is going up slightly. So you can see that on the graph here where the kilowatts are going up slightly, then they peak. And then what happens is once you get past that 50% of charge level, the um, uh, kilowatts actually start to drop a little bit because the battery uh, voltage is getting to a point where it's kind of starting to max out and the charger uh, needs to reduce the amperage so it's not overcharging the cells. So uh, as we continue on, you can see it's slowly ramping down and it really doesn't have a dramatic impact until we get about to 75% over here. You can see our voltage is up to 391 now, but our amps has dropped a fair bit now from 124 down to 97 and that brings us to 38 kilowatts. So that's around right around here on the graph. So you can see it starts to drop off quite a bit. So uh, it, it's true that, you know, after that 80% mark, it really starts to drop off and you can see it continues to drop off all the way. I went all the way to 95%. Now the reality is, you know, if you've got people waiting for you, you sh probably shouldn't do that unless you're absolutely desperate to get a, a high charge level uh, because 
the amount of time you spend there, you're, you're just decreasing the amount of power that's going into your vehicle. And you can see it dropping off quite a bit here. The amperage and in, in, in relation to that, the kilowatts is dropping off quite significantly. But it's interesting though here, so if we look at uh, you know, what's the time it takes to get from 20% to 80%? Well, that's this line here. So 20% was in minute three. That's how, where we achieved that level to 80% has minute 23. So if you just take three minus 23, so if you plug in your leaf at 20%, it's gonna take you 20 minutes to charge from 20% to 80%, which I think is fairly consistent with kind of how the ads worked at the time. At the time. So it's interesting that uh, that holds true. So it is nice to see that the car still after eight years is still able to charge quite rapidly, get from 20 to 80% in about 20 minutes. And we almost got to a full charge, we're at 95% there after 30 minutes. So that if you're trying to do some kind of longer trip on it, it is uh, possible, although this is still a 30 kilowatt hour battery pack, so it's really not designed for those road trips. But if you do have to take one or two hops throughout the day to get to your destination, this is uh, probably, uh, you know, it, it, it is, does have that capability to do that. Uh, one other thing I'll mention that I didn't talk about earlier is the battery uh, temperature. It started out around 20 Celsius or around 70 Fahrenheit, and at the end of the charging session is at 38 Celsius or around you know, 97, 98 Fahrenheit. So it did drive a fair bit of heat into the battery and that's a consideration as well. So if you just do that once a day, it's going to be fine because the battery has 23 and a half hours to cool down when you're not driving it. But if you need to do that consistently and consecutively in the same day, that's when the heat uh, problem comes into effect and some have called it rapid gate, uh, which is essentially uh, you know, if we were going to run it down right now to a low battery charge and then plug it into a high speed charger again, uh, the battery is not going to have time to cool off and it has no active cooling for this particular vehicle. So the next charging session is probably going to start somewhere around, you know, 35 degrees Celsius or around, you know, low 90s Fahrenheit and drive another uh, bunch of uh, heat into it as well. And I think once it goes past 45 uh, or, you know, 110 or so, that's when the battery starts to derate its charging level to make sure it is not going to overheat. But again, these aren't the uh, road trip vehicles. So uh, this is the first time I've ever plugged this particular vehicle into a level three charging station. Normally I just plug it into level two or level one at my work or at home. And in this case, I had to actually go out of my way to find a charging station and do this. But uh, it's an interesting experiment and it does prove that the Chatamo and the level three charging can be quite rapid. Anyway, thanks for watching my little experiment there. Hopefully it was uh, interesting or you know maybe you learned something from it. Is it similar to the charging curve for your vehicle? Uh, this one is a little bit older, so the batteries on the smaller side the the newer batteries are going to have a little bit of a different charging curve and the, the charging stations will be a lot faster as as well in addition to that then of course the batteries are larger also so thanks for watching if you found it interesting or informative i'd appreciate a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for future videos thanks for watching have a great day